All right, hello. Um, so part two of our tutorial is we're going to want to have the files that we put into this drop zone um, basically be read and basically that file turned into a base64 um, string which is then we can do some stuff with so first things first let's go ahead and um, make a this.get base64 uh, function dot pine this and we're gonna want a this dot file upload equals this dot file upload dot bind this uh, function. So after this happens here, we actually want um, the file to do something, right? So if I were to actually say accepted file right here, and if I were to say console.log accepted file uh, because of how um, the API is built um, this will actually give me back what this is which is the file that we get so if I were to um, refresh this page and um, oh sorry and so let's just get rid of these real quick because we're not using them All right, so if I were to drag and drop this into here, um, and if I were to inspect the page afterwards, um, we would see that a array of our newly found um, file is accepted in here um, on line uh, 16. And specifically, let's say accepted file of array um, placement zero, right? So if I were to now do this again, it refreshes and I say this, this instead of giving me an array, it gives me um, the actual object that I want. So let's um, get rid of on drop. We don't particularly need this anymore um, when we can just do it right here. So now from here, let's now say, this dot file upload accepted file zero. So now we want to pass that object of file upload. Um, but before we actually build file upload, which will have a file, um, we want to build get base 64 and we want this to be a async function because um, you'll see soon enough and so let's see real quick um, so we want a file here we're gonna have a callback right here and we're going to say we're gonna have a let reader equal new file reader so we can then read a file we're going to send say reader dot um, read as data url of this file then reader dot on load equal function callback reader dot result which is basically saying um, that function we bring back this result to the callback function right and if reader dot on error means if there is an error in the process then we pretty much return a error or rather console dot log error Right, and then let's see real quick. Um, see if everything goes through. Looks good to me. All right, so now 
file upload. And actually this is going to have to be async as well because we're going to actually um, take in get base64 in here. Um, as well as actually um, on accept to drop because um, we're going to say await oh, this dot file upload which then goes here and so on and so forth. Honestly I could probably remove this and just put this in here but you know it's totally fine as it is. Um, if things need to be optimized at some point then hey um, feel free to. But so we're going to put a try and catch in here. I'm going to say console.log e.message. And then we're going to try to await this dot get base 64 of said file. And then we're going to get the base64 string that um, basically gets um, called back. So this, it gets called back into this function. And then let's just say console.log base64 string. So we can see how that ends up looking like. And let's see. Um, everything seems to be fine on this end. So if I were to get our example image, goes up on here, press on that, we can now see we get a large string back and we can see that it's an image slash PNG base64. And so this is basically what we wanted. This is our base64 image, or rather this is our image um, converted into a base64 string. So if I were to actually copy this and go to um, base 64 to image and let's just go here real quick and if I were to copy paste this and generate it we would actually get our image back right so real quick let's just show like what we can do with this base 64 string right so real quick let me instantiate uh, this dot state equals base 64 and let's just say this is um, just an empty string for now and let's say down here let's say um, we want an image with a source that is this dot state dot base 64 um, with an alt of say base 64 and if I am to go here we see that um, there is no image here yet and let me just instead of saying console.log base 64 string let's actually say this dot set a state for um, the base 64 um, state variable and let's say we want um, that to be equal to base 64 string so now we see that this is the case um, and we see that there's an image source of that here and that is up here as well so let's um, compile this real quick double check on this okay so everything looks good so if I were to actually put this here and now it actually um, this that image component actually went from this alt of base 64 to now the source of this dot state dot base 64 which was the image that I just uploaded right so from here we're actually gonna now step into some of the more interesting stuff and try to uh, take this base 64 string and instead of you know something as simple as you know showing it on the screen um, we're gonna try to fetch and use some of the data um, from a API 
uh, specifically from math picks and see what we can kind of come up with. But that's going to be the next episode. So uh, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you guys next time.